Hi, my name is Phil Bagg, CAS Master Teacher, author of the Coded Resources and Highest Computing Inspector. In this video we will be looking at read the label, get the value. If you haven't already done so, I recommend that you watch my video on variable labels and values. It's only just over two minutes long and it has useful background information. You can find it here. Teachers, look out for the pause sign so your pupils can try the activities on their whiteboards. In this video we are looking at read the label, get the value. The wonderful thing about a variable is that once you assign a value to a variable, everywhere you use the variable label, the computer will read the value instead. Let me read that to you again. The wonderful thing about a variable is that once you assign a value to a variable, Everywhere you use the variable label, the computer will read the value instead. I call this read the label, get the value. Let us spend some time unpicking this idea in a written algorithm before we look at some code examples. This puts the value Jane inside the variable with the label a friend. I have written var so that I remember that the next word will be a variable. In the next line of my algorithm, I want the computer to use the variable, the read the label and display the value. Say, hi var, a friend, how are you? When this say command is run, the variable label a friend is replaced with the value Jane, so it would display as... The computer automatically replaces the label a friend with the value Jane. Right on your whiteboard, what do you think will be displayed if we change the code to look like this? That's right, it would read as... If you assign a new value to a variable, everywhere the computer reads the label, it will now get the new value. Now write two lines of code using the a friend variable. Don't forget to assign the value to the variable in the first line and then use the variable in the second line. You can use my example to help you set it out neatly. And Don't forget to test it afterwards and give it to the person next to you. Can they actually read that say line and actually replace the variable label with the value? Once the variable has been assigned a value, it can be used lots of times. Write down on your whiteboard what you think this would display. Did you write this? Multiple variables can also be used within the same algorithm or program. Write three variables with the following labels and put in your own chosen values. Don't get too hung up on which friend, just choose one quickly. Now use your variables to read this passage to the person next to you. We can also assign numbers to variables. Set variable years alive to 10. Say, today I am variable years alive years old. Write down on your whiteboard what you think this would display. Did you write this? Once we assign a number to a variable, we can use anywhere we would normally use a number. out this everyday algorithm. Which part is the label and which is the value? Can you write your own example that uses variable my number? Let us look at some examples within the Scratch and Crumble programming language. The first line assigns the value Maisie to the label a friend. The second two lines reads the labels a friend 
and displays the values. Write down on your whiteboard what you think this would display. Well done! Did you get these two? Let's now look at a crumble example. The variable blocks in crumble are pink. It uses let instead of set, but it does the same job of assigning a value to the variable. Write on your whiteboard, what's the label and what is the value in this example? Well done. My num is the label and 4 is the value. Now have a go at this one. How long will the light shine red for? Brilliant. 4 seconds. Have a look at this new crumble example. What will you change if you want the motor to operate at 60% power? Well done, let my num equal 60. Crumble, like many text-based programming languages, uses an equal shine to show that the variable label my num is the same as the variable 50, because an equal sign means the same as. If you want to use this standard notation to assign a variable, you can write something like my num equals 50. Or earlier, you could have written a friend equals Maisie. Remember, it's the label equals the value. The most important thing is to use whatever is best for you when it comes to planning variables within a program.